<clears throat> Hello. Uh, I've not done a tutorial for a while, but I thought I would uh, start things back up with quite a simple one that I've had a few requests for. It's just going to be something simp as simple as starting a quest on launch. And I think what I'm going to do from here is then start to do more and more different things you can do with quests, like different ways of setting objectives. Then perhaps uh, if I feel like I have time, I'll sit down and do a long tutorial where I kind of put things together and make a larger, uh, a larger quest. So I'll start with this really simple thing of starting a quest as soon as the game starts. So I'm just going to right click new and create a whole new quest. Just call it tutorial quest and give it the name tutorial quest priority of 45 and we'll start game enabled if that's fine. Yeah, okay. So I'm just going to search for my quest and here it is tutorial quest. So I'm going to go to quest stages and I'm going to create stage 10, which is going to be the stage that we'll start. So right click new 10 and we're going to right click new in this log entry so we can collect all this, get all this stuff together. So now we're just going to put in this set objective displayed like it's 10. Like that. Just hit compile and if we wait, uh, oh, okay, there we go. I thought it was going to freeze. And so now we're just going to click run on start. And then if we go to quest objective, we're going to define an objective 10 because otherwise if we don't do this, nothing will happen. So we'll go tutorial objective. So basically what happens is as soon as this quest becomes active, stage 10 will instantly be set because we pressed this run on start. And because the quest is start game enabled, the quest is active as soon as the game as soon as the game is loaded up. And so because the quest has become active, stage 10 will immediately run. So stage 10 objective will immediately be displayed, which for us is just um, tutorial objective. But I could also do something else like reward myself some caps. So I'll just go into properties and I'm going to add a property. And I've noticed in the past, I think some people are getting confused about properties because I've been naming my properties the exact same name as the object. So I'm going to give them a slightly different name. So I'm just going to go uh, to make a property. I'm going to create a misc object property because I'm going to give myself some caps. So uh, misc object, and I'm going to give it the name p caps 001. So I put that p in front of it to symbolise the difference between the property and the base object. So I'll hit OK. And that will automatically fill it in because I put this P in front of it. So now I'm going to put in here game dot get player. Oh, my close brackets dot add item, and then in brackets I'm going to put the name of the property P caps zero zero one. So not the uh, ID of the object that we're adding. I'm going to put the amount comma one hundred. Compile. So now what will happen is, as soon as the quest launches, our objective will be displayed and we'll be given 100 caps. It's just, you know, a random thing, basically. And so now I'm just going to save this, then I'll go into the game and demonstrate that happening. Okay, so I'm going to start my video here, because the instant I get into the game, it's going to load. And it'll probably also load, show my DLC quests coming up, so I don't know uh, how quickly it'll show my, uh, my tutorial quest. So there were my caps getting added and tutorial quest has been started, you see? happened right away. So it's as simple as that really and I'm gonna start uh, doing a few more things on quests hopefully try and get tutorials in a little bit regularly so now I have been a little bit lax on doing them and also uh, I'm gonna do a piece of shameless self-promotion at the end here you can now download my David Hunter and Brotherhood story mod on um, the Fallout 4 Nexus on, and it's also on Bethesda Net for PC and Xbox One so you can uh, play it on all of those things please download it um, if you want to. So hopefully that was a useful tutorial. Uh, I know it's quite simple but it's a useful trick and uh, thank you for watching and goodbye.